morning, everyone, and welcome back to what feels like the first vlog in a very long time. Work has just been like astronomically crazy lately. So then by the time I get home and like the weekend starts, like I am uh, flatline brain dead. Most weekends, like we've just haven't even changed out of PJs. Not gonna lie. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back. So I got my hair cut Friday and it's doing that weird thing like that first few days where it's like, you know, I have like little pieces. Anyway, it'll grow back. It's not, it's not a bad haircut by any means. It's just like, I didn't, I don't know. I didn't really do a whole lot with it when I got out of the shower this morning. What are we doing this weekend? I'm so glad you asked. Welcome, it's a three day weekend. So yesterday was Saturday, didn't do anything. Literally played video games, watched Twitch, hung out. And today we're going out to breakfast, running to the store, and then coming back and just hanging out. We also need to take down all of the Christmas trees. If you can't tell, it is mid-January. Oh, my Apple Watch is dead because I didn't charge it. Boo. It's mid-January. I'm sick of the trees. I never even got into the Christmas spirit this year. So they need to go back to storage. They can try again next year. Three-day weekend. I'm here for it. Thank you. I need it. Let's go get some brunch. So we ate breakfast and now we're gonna go do some shopping first. Half price. This half price books is not nearly as good as the one back home. Back in our old. Back in Fort Wayne. Um, Indiana, for some reason, had some really good half price books, probably because everyone was getting rid of their good books. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, next up, we're going to hit there's this like special Dick's Sporting Goods, and I think it's part of this like outlet Dick's franchise. We just found out about a week or two ago. Thank you, TikTok, for sharing that with us. Um, I'm really hoping because this girl was like finding like Nike t-shirts for like $3.99 and then 50% off. So I'm hoping that's what this is. Hoping. Let's go. Let's find out. Just left Dick's warehouse sale. <laughs> and I don't know. It's, it is what it is. Happy Sunday. Sunday? Sunday. Dick's warehouse sale. So, not bad. Tons and tons and tons of shoes. So, for $83.93, I found a pair of Adidas shoes and shorts. Two house brand Dick's Sporting Goods DSG, whatever shorts just to wear around the house. Um, those were $1.93 a piece. I'm like, oh my gosh. So if it hadn't been for the shoes, I would have gotten out of there with like 12 bucks with three pairs of shorts. Yeah. But I'm not going to show you guys because it's been brought to my attention how gross they are. My white everyday like 
shoes are not white anymore and they're very gross. So they're, nasty. they're being retired and we're gonna bust out the new Adidas. Well, I'll keep these around until the end of winter. Next, let's head over to everyone's favorite shop in the world, Target, and pick up some supplies. So that was a fun little Target run. Listen guys, it wouldn't be a weekend vlog without a Target run. Are you excited about our Target run? Oh, it was thrilling. It was, mm -hmm. thrilling. it was a wonderland of good deals. Great items to be found. No, so we just picked up a few little pieces of groceries. That's, That's it. Like normal people. We're normal people. We're normal people. Just living our everyday lives. <laughs> anyway guys, we're both tired. So we're gonna go home, unload these groceries, my little dicks haul, and then we're gonna take a nap. So That's right. here we go. Ah, we're gonna do this. I'm so excited you guys. I've been looking forward to this for months. Let's get into it. So we just finished the episode and they nailed it. It was incredible. It was so freaking good. Perfection. Casting, the the way they followed the video game, just perfect. Even if you've never played the video game, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Go and watch this show. It was it's so amazing. good. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Is it next Sunday yet? Because I'm ready for the next episode. Seriously. How are y'all doing? <laughs> so it is currently Sunday evening. As you can tell, we have literally just been playing video games and hanging out all day, which I am A-OK -okay with. So, long story... Why? It's gross out. Yeah. <laughs> Zane's putting me on blast. Well, it is nasty out. It's true. It's so true. So, <laughs> we woke up like 10.30, and it, originally the idea was, as you can tell, we haven't even taken down the Christmas trees yet. It is what it is. Um, the original plan was to switch into my Hermes Kelly and either go to like the Crate and Barrel table or the Restoration Rooftop for lunch, walk around Oak Brook Center Mall, take in some fabulous window shopping. Why? Because we're saving up for a Birkin and I'm on a spending freeze, technically. I mean, I did, I went wild at the Dick's uh, warehouse sale yesterday. Woo! <laughs> anyway, so it is nasty out. It was cold, it's like freezing rain. So then being the true lazy Americans that we are, we hopped in the car and drove up to the Starbucks from a little Starbucks treat of the day. And yeah, it's nasty out. Like I'm not trying to walk in the rain, guys. It's so gross. So we came back with our Starbucks treat and just played video games all afternoon. We've been playing The Last of Us because- Part two. Part two. And don't spoil it for me, for those of you that have played. So far, it's amazing. I might have teared up a tiny bit. There's that. Naughty Dog always makes the best video games, and Last of Us Part Two was no disappointment. Anyway, so we're going to get back to playing more video games, have a little champagne and cheese, and just hang out. And since I didn't have a whole lot of footage for you guys this week, for the weekend, as I promised, I have a closet tour filmed for you guys, so insert footage here. Enjoy. So I have literally the world's smallest, I mean, probably not, I mean, first world problems, but I have a very small walkthrough closet, and honestly, and this isn't, this isn't a, a flex or a humble brag, but in our last apartment, our walk-in coat closets were bigger than this closet, so this has really been a lesson in organization and making use of every inch of space. I literally have stuff all the way up to the ceiling in here, which you're about to see. I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you guys a closet tour. We're gonna have some bag candy, it's gonna be a thing. Okay, so this is the clothing half of my closet. And trust me, there is a method to the madness, kind of, sort of, maybe. Here at the front, work clothes. And then these are, I mean, you probably recognize quite a few of these, some of the shirts that I've worn on camera. Um, some of the things like further back, those are like vacation clothes. And then we have my suits and my designer ready to wear collection back in the back. For like formal wear, I like to keep like tags on it so I know like what I've worn and to what event, which mattered a lot more before COVID. However, I kind of still keep up with that. Up here we have pants, like these are just like daily pants. These are my massive Janko jeans that I have yet to break in yet, but I love them. Just different pairs of pants, really no rhyme or reason. Those are the 
Armani pants I, I unboxed a few weeks ago. A lot of these sweatshirts and sweaters you've probably seen. And then designer knitwear like Gucci, Armani. Um, I think there might be some Lanvin in there. Over here, clutches. So <laughs> yes, this is literally like an office file holder. I found these on Amazon for like next to nothing. And I use them for my smaller clutches. Now I can't go any higher because this clutch, this is the Balenciaga Brogues motorcycle clutch in the the raisin and the little knobs in the front are just way too big to go up another level i mean yeah i guess i could pack things underneath it but yeah this is all like balenciaga louis vuitton coach ysl you name it it's there i didn't have any space for this one this cute little sherpa made for outlet bag um as you can tell i still haven't taken him out but it's a vibe down here we just have um this is my gucci cape i have a few pairs of leather pants back here in the back my these are my full length faux fur coats michael basquiat for coach throw moschino that's the one and only thing i own from h&m i'm not a big h&m fan some faux and real fur throws and stoles and things like that all right so moving down this was a recent project so these are from ikea and i spent last weekend building these and these just house like more little clutches and crossbody bags and just like little things that i don't really use like a whole lot like here's my big balenciaga puffy touch clutch vintage gucci that i'm afraid to really use and damage some more older coach back there i think there might be some lv balenciaga gucci so my smaller like crossbody bags you're gonna find down here and then the piece de resistance the packs let's dive in I, I have over 80 bags in my collection, like it's no secret. So I really needed something that would work for me here in this apartment. And I needed something that was gonna be modular. So when we moved in the future, I could easily integrate this, add to it, take away, like whatever I needed to do, which obviously I need to add to it. Up at the very top, I have my boxes. And then on the walls, because I had to take out shelving, to install this. I have massive anchor holes in the walls behind these shopping bags. So I was like, I'm just gonna hang shopping bags. And then when we move out, they can just pop the old shelves back in, right? Done and done. Some of these are like my more important shopping bags. Like this one we got in Italy, Spain, our wedding gifts, holiday one year, the Sade clutch, Balenciaga Gucci hacker project, Gucci anniversary, just like different, like important bags. On the door handle, I have my Yves Saint Laurent totes. These are just like the little canvas totes from the Reeve Drill line. For the big closet, I have my Louis Vuitton Taiga luggage collection front and back back there. The Eagle NYC tote, my Telfar totes, little Louis, a Fendi shelf. <laughs> All Louis Vuitton through here, Suhali, Multicolor, things like that. The two Muse 2s back here. This is just random Italian, and I think there's maybe some French back there. Just random brands. I have like my Prada, my Gucci Multicolor, things like that. This one is mostly Balenciaga with a Givenchy and some Dunium Burke. Random American pieces. Again, more coach, some more fur, my Gucci brooch, which you probably saw in my unboxing last weekend. And then down here, straps. <laughs> so this is all of the straps and I think just my everyday belts as well. Longchamp and my Burberry beater bag. Some more Dunian Burke under there. Small leather goods, plenty of those. And last but not least, my favorite chore, the jewelry. I love it. <laughs> so that is my very small and mostly somewhat kind of organized closet. If you're astute, then you know my Hermes Kelly is sitting out in the great room. And you're like, Caleb, like, where does it go when you're done? I literally have enough room for like a one-to-one -one ratio. Like I take one out and I can put another one back in when I've changed bags. So that's where we're at right now. When I buy the Birkin, we're gonna have to figure something out. But that was my closet. Thank you.